Earth, wind, and fire. This is uh, incredible. I say it all the time. I have the best job in the world, but to, to walk out and have Earth, wind, and fire plan and uh, Oh, I'm, I'm very lucky. Uh, and I had a, a, a great day. Did you have a good day today so far? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. I'm glad. It's amazing. This morning I had a little gift. I, I woke up and uh, my morning started off uh, very badly. Uh, the coffee exploded. You know how the grounds have that volcano effect that <laughs> comes pouring out and it's all over the counter. There's coffee grounds everywhere. Lately I've had a lot of coffee problems. I, I talked about it the other day, the coffee handle just, the whole cup broke off in my hand and I was left with the handle and coffee on the floor. And then yesterday I mentioned that uh, I went to the Starbucks and knocked over an entire table of lattes. That, <laughs> and some people would take that as a sign to stop drinking coffee, not me. So anyway, this morning, I'm sleepy and I'm cleaning up the coffee grounds. I'm aggravated in a bad mood already. And something caught my eye and I look out the window and in front of me there's a hummingbird. And I just watched it. It just was like, it just stopped and was looking at me and it was kind of all over the place, just, just <laughs> flying around. And I thought, what a magical little creature that is. And I thought, thank you, hummingbird. You know, because it lasted just a minute, but it changed my mood. It took me away and I thought, that's our choice. I could focus on the coffee grounds and I could get aggravated about that or I could look at the hummingbird that's in front of me that's a little piece of magic. And I thought if we're just still enough and if we're just quiet enough that those little tiny beautiful moments happen. And I know that there are mothers at home right now watching that, that you know, you're a mother of one or two or five or seven, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> and you're thinking, well, that's, that's easy. That's easy for you to say. But, but what about me with my baby in my high chair and, and uh, throwing its eggnog or whatever children eat? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And I thought, you know, let me talk to you for a second. Let me, I'll take care of your little children just because you do need a second. <laughs> Hi, little baby. Let, let mommy listen to the lady right now. Hello. All right. Now, what I'm trying to say is if we take time to appreciate the important things, that's true, Ellen. I know. I know. <laughs> This is for the children right here. Because I really did. I looked at the hummingbird and I sat down and I wrote a poem about it. And, I, and it, it goes, oh, hummingbird, hummingbird, outside thy window. And that's all I wrote. That's, uh, well, because um, I didn't, I didn't know it rhymed with window. I thought pindo, but that's not a word. And the point is, is that Moments like that, happiness is free. And, and it's in nature, it's in our family, it's anything that makes you smile, it's laughter, it's a song, it's a dance, it's a free sample of smoked sausage at a Costco. It's, it's, uh, if you're lucky enough to get to it, people crowd around there and you can't even reach in. But I guess my point is, I hope that every day we're your hummingbird. There's my gift to you, there's our twin inside. All right, I have to, this is a dream come true for me to have Earth, Wind, and Fire is our house band today. This is, uh, you know, when I was in high school, I was listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire. I was, I was loving Earth, Wind, and Fire, and now I am lucky enough to be sitting here with them. 35 years of, of funk and soul they have been given us. And, uh... <laughs> Everybody in the audience is getting Earth, Wind, and Fire's latest CD. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I love it. Um, you, you should be able to sit down. Do you have to stand the whole time? That's, that's, that's not right. I feel bad. All right, uh, before, pardon me. Um, before I, uh, I, I came out here, uh, this, this morning what happened was, I've been talking about the fires here and a lot of people lost their homes and uh, I've been asking people to donate to the, to the Red Cross and help people out. Also, there's a foundation called Noah's Wish and uh, if you go to our website, you can find out more about Noah's Wish, but they, they specifically help people in, in times of disaster, whether it's floods, whether it's uh, fires. And this is an example. This is a dog that, um, that was left in a flood, and they actually, when everyone's leaving, they go in and get the animals. So, uh, and I called this morning to see if there are any dogs that I could adopt and help out, and they said, well, we have a kitten right now, 
And so uh, it just got delivered to us, and Karen Anderson is taking it home today. And that's a little kitten that needed a home, and Karen Anderson's bringing it to her little two-year-old boy today, and he doesn't know it. So when he gets home, when she gets home, she's... So Noah's wish, if you can help them out, if you can take in an animal, uh, go to the website. And um, now, the, last week, if you watched, uh, it's, it's makeover. I, I, every Thursday is makeover day for me. I... I feel the same way, and so... <laughs> Last Thursday was the first makeover, and uh, a young lady from uh, New York, a viewer, got on the, the website and said, I'd like to change Ellen's look, and, and so she dressed me. And uh, this is what I looked like last week. That was her. <laughs> exactly. And uh, <laughs> some people feel that. Some people have different opinions. Uh, of course, uh, the next makeover is the day after tomorrow. And uh, Andy Lassner, our supervising producer here, his dad is 80 years old. He lives in Manhattan. And Jules is a retired Marine who has a lot of opinions about the show. He's given us some great quotes. His latest quote is about my makeover. And uh, Jules says, uh, you're doing a load of things up there that are unnecessary. Hire, <laughs> hire three people to dress her up as a hoe from Soho. <laughs> That's ridiculous. She's a good-looking broad. <laughs> what are you doing trying to change her over? She's perfectly dressed for what she does. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What... Um... So thanks. I appreciate that, Jules. I appreciate it. But I'm going to let people change me a few more times this month. Um, Houston left yesterday. We had a segment that we, we decided to let Houston help other people since he does so much for us. And so he took off yesterday to help a, a woman in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, that's, uh, she wanted Christmas lights on that, that house right there. So her husband was scared of heights. And, and uh, Houston, we hope he, we hear from him soon. He took off yesterday. I assume that's where he's going. And uh, <laughs> we told him to go there.